Hello and welcome to another video from Sustenance and Cover, the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive the current apocalypse, but actually enjoy it. And today we're going to talk about all the things you need to buy to drill yourself a well. And this is going to be a, a series, so this part here is things you got to buy. But in any case, uh, everything I show you here came from Lowe's. I have bought things in the past from well drilling supply houses, and you will go broke drilling a well buy from somewhere outside of Lowe's because everything they got is cheaper and exactly the same quality as what you'd get somewhere else. Now I did say everything comes from Lowe's but when you get your sticks they do not sell 20 foot sticks of PVC at Lowe's. You will have to stop somewhere and pick up them sticks at a regular plumbing supply house but that don't make no difference because they they're just as cheap. But in any case you're gonna have to have this. This is called a well point. It's a four foot point uh, low sells a three foot, I think a two foot and a four foot. There's no sense in getting anything other than the biggest one because it makes it easier to pump your well. And if it's called a well point because it's pointed on the end, that's what goes at the very bottom of the stick. And on the sides, you'll see it's got little slots cut in it. Them slots are big enough to let water through, but not sand. And that's important. And there's a label up there. So it's four foot by one and a quarter inch PVC well point. First thing you need. Next thing you need is called a one and a, uh, one and a quarter inch coupling. This coupling puts together two pieces of four, Schedule 40 PVC, but it does it in such a way that it does not add to the external dimensions of the pipe because it slips inside the pipe instead of over the outside. And if you've ever messed with PVC, you know that's a little bit unusual. Once you've got that glued in there, you're gonna glue it into your 20 foot stick. And that is basically everything you need for a well. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is everything you need to drill the hole for your well because this goes in the ground and stays in the ground. This goes in the ground and comes back out. This is going to be what I call my jet. It's a jet drilling rig. And you're going to use another 20 foot stick of Schedule 40 PVC. Only this time we're going to use 2 inch because the inside diameter of the two inch is big enough to allow for the passing of the external diameter of the one and a quarter inch. All right, now we're gonna to go to the other end and show you what else we got. Now when we get to this end, you'll notice there's a difference in these two pieces of PVC. This one is flared out. That flare is called a bell. If they give you an option of buying a stick of PVC with or without the bell, tell them you do not need the bell and you'll get one like this. But of course, I don't know that every one of them has that option. This inch and a quarter did not, so I had to buy it with the bell. That bell will have to be cut off. With the bell removed, you will glue on to the end a one and one quarter inch adapter. This simply takes you from a one and one quarter inch PVC which glues on to a one and a quarter inch male pipe thread which fits inside the one and a quarter inch female pipe threads of the pump itself. Now we'll do another video about pumps because I got a bunch of them and I'm going to show you different features of them. But this is going to go on after your pipe is firmly in the ground and you have decided on the height at which you want to install your pump. Some pumps are designed to be installed directly on the ground. Some are designed to be installed at a sink, which means you're going to have to build something to get it off the ground. All right. That's everything you need for the well. For the drilling, you're going to have to have this 20-foot stick of Schedule 40 PVC 2-inch pipe. Now, I keep talking about 20-foot stick, and there's a reason that we're only going to do that. I am only going to show you how to use uh, install a pitcher pump or what's called a uh, shallow well pump. Shallow well pumps the only thing I know about. They have a deep well pump that's a whole lot more complicated. Probably take a whole community of people to put it in and I'm going to show you what you can do by yourself. This <clears throat> is going to be 20 feet because a shallow well pump will not draw water up past 25 feet and just out of safety of uh, being able to put something in the ground and get some use out of it, we're going to stick with 20. Now, at the top of our 20 foot stick of 2 inch, we're going to put what's called a cross. This is a 2 inch cross. On each side of the cross, we're going to put what's called a 2 inch by 3 quarter inch bushing. It's called that because it's 2 inches, which means it'll fit inside of the 2 inch cross, and yet it is 3 inches threaded female to accommodate this, which is called a hose bib. 
three quarter inch hose bib. You may recognize it. That's where you get your water. Uh, you hook your water hose up to on your house. Your faucet. And that's just going to screw right in here. In fact, I've already got this one put together. That'll go on that side. Now, later on, you'll understand what's going on here, but uh, this stick, when it is full of water, is extremely heavy, and just its own weight can break it if you try to hold it up in the air, especially with a hose hanging from it full of water. This cross is going to accommodate a rope that we're going to tie around it to hold it up in the air. Now, we're not going to build a tripod. What we're going to do is we're going to find a tree and dig a well next to a tree. That way, we can use the tree itself as our tripod. All right. Now, this is where it gets a little bit complicated and fancy for no reason. You could just put another stick of PVC on here and put a threaded cap fitting and then a threaded cap. Now, this is a cap. This is not a threaded cap. This is a slip cap. In other words, there's no threads. It just glues on. What we're going to do is cut this down. This is another piece of two inch. Glue the cap to it and then glue that to this. This is called a union, two inch union ball valve. When I saw it, I had to have it because it just seemed like a really good idea. Now that I'm looking at it, it just looks like it may be adding a little bit extra expense, but I'm glad I got it. It's more or less an experiment. 50-50% uh, chance that this is gonna help me and 50% chance it ain't gonna do nothing for me. But we're gonna put a piece here, glue that on, glue about another four feet on here and put this cap on the end. And what that does, that allows us to drill down till we hit this cross, which is at 20 feet. And then we stick this well in. And remember, this is a 20 foot stick with a four foot uh, well point on the end. That makes us 24 total feet. So rather than have this cut off and then putting a union on there, we're gonna just go ahead and drill it drop the whole stick down in there and the way we're going to do that is by having a four foot extension on this end. I know right now none of this seems clear but once we put it all together and I'll show you how it works it's going to be very very clear. Water is essential. You need to have your own hand powered well. If you don't want to survive don't listen to me. <laughs>